Ping, 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 ping. Loading, 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 loading. How long will it load? How long will it load? Keep spinning. I know exactly what I need to do here, but so far it's been nearly impossible. I need to get this bird to follow me and grab this frog here so that he carries this frog over to this nest right here and then this frog I need to use this frog to get me up here that's that's the idea even though I'm starting to second guess this because this is a, a big lake never mind all that, that stuff I just barely said hell no that's not how you do it I gotta get my ass up here that's it get my ass up here gotta get up here got some frogs down here I know I can get them up here there's light shining through I, I can't show you why I know this will work right now but I will in a bit in fact no I'm gonna show you right now this is where I am right now I'm at like the bottom of this waterfall you can't see me but just trust me this is where I am now I'm, I'm going to emerge from the lake as you can see I have emerged from the lake and this bird will take me send me flying up and as you can see these are the coins I'm trying to get right here I'm positive that place where I just showed you the opening where if I can get on top of that ledge if I get on top of that ledge and walk walk left I will appear right here and then I will be able to get up I'm 100% positive that's what I have to do also got to figure out how to get these coins and I think the black part means I have not been in the area yet where I can access them so that's an area that I have to discover and I think I need to discover it while I'm under the water we'll see if all my predictions are correct now this is not going to be easy the first thing I need to do is figure out how to get light here because they're not going to do shit until unless I get light here or maybe they will I need to get them up here so they can blow me up here. If I can get one frog here, he will blow me up all the way. I th I'm certain that they can reach that distance. And since I'm keeping my head in the clouds and not stuck here, this little passageway right here is looking pretty interesting. I, I got a feeling I'm going to be bringing some fireflies down this passageway. Mm, just a hunch. We'll see. Again, it's me against the the designer of the game. That's something I just barely learned from this game called Kaizo Mario. It's a pretty cool idea. Player versus designer, not player versus game, with designer being the mediator. It's player versus designer. And I'm predicting that I'm bringing fireflies down here. <laughs> or not! I'm just bringing them right here. Yeah, I'm not bringing <laughs> Yeah, that is right here. Yep. There it is right here. Oh, God. That's hilarious. But still, there's a one predicament here. I can't get back over to the left. Like, I can get my guy down here. He'll fall off. The frog will eat him. This next dude will fall off. And I can get him to get up there. But then I can't get up there. See, I'm stuck now, and there's no more little putrid guys. So maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is, it's this right here will bring me, this little passageway will bring me more little purple dudes. But then it, I, yeah, because I, even then, I can like, even if they're right here, I can bounce them onto the ceiling. Ooh, maybe that's what it is. We'll find out. I got to continue in the level to find out, though. Okay, this shows that I am at the end of this section. And I have not found a way where I could uh, do anything. I don't know. So I. 
might be that that little passageway I, refer, I look back at I have to access from a different part of like I might have to cut off. no I gotta figure something else out those frogs I gotta go back now is there advantage oh, so I'm back to the place as you can see I got the co I got the frogs down here using the fire flight is there advantage to having a lot of frogs down here Oh, there is! Get a frog up here. And then he can blow me up here. Something... Oh, yeah. Okay, we got it. Still not working. Gotta get the frog over here. Okay, got it. Got one frog up there. Now it's about sending up one of those bad boys. One of these bad boys right here. It shouldn't be too easy. We shouldn't be too difficult, I mean. Ah, oh, shit. Get him, get him! Yeah! Oh, sweet nutsack. Now it's all me. Now, where is this going to lead me? I'm really curious. Get up there. Solve this little biatch. Maybe I sh oh. It's just. Hmm. That's it! There's still more in this level, though. Oh, but still, I want to get up there, though. I want to get up there, I want to get up there, I want to get up there. Okay, I think I know how to get up there. See how I got this guy here? Well, there was a frog up here, but I took him down to get up here. Now that I have that, I just gotta reset this whole world. Cause then if I can, I can get that purple guy up here, the frog will automatically eat him, and then I can work my way to get a frog up to where I need to go. This is so gonna work. Here's a problem I'm having. I need this frog to be in a position where as soon as this purple thing falls down on him, he automatically eats it. Because if he doesn't, this thing doesn't, another purple thing doesn't grow back, and I can't get up there to manipulate the situation with my light. What I've been trying to do is i got to get this fro frog as flush up to this ledge as possible, and so clearly this isn't flush enough. There we go, there we go, there we go, 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 go! Got him! He, that's as flush as possible, right? Has to work now. Ugh! He's where he's supposed to be, but this guy popped too far. But then that's not bad. It might actually be better. Because then I can get the frogs floating up further. Huh. A, that was a mistake, uh, a blessing in disguise. There we go. Get on that ledge. Get on that ledge. Come on, purple bur butterfly. Got it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm getting on there. Now I'm gonna get one of these frogs to come down. Stand it! Stupid, stupid frog. Okay, I messed up, but one thing I know: this is possible. I got if everything worked out, worked out. If I did it right, then this guy sh should have been blown up. Now that isn't close enough to get here, though. But the concept is there. The concept works. I I just have to I have to exe execute differently. But the concept works, and that is everything right now. Okay, I think I think I, my strategy is not right gonna work. It took me forever to realize why it won't work, but the thing is that even if I get like this this frog right here, right? I need to get him to blow a bubble. I need to get him to be in a position where he can blow a bubble. Like get blown up. And then I need to put another purple thing up here so that he can blow that purple grape thing up to the other frog that's clear up there. 
because then that frog has to blow me up even further. So I need to have more access to more than one purple grape thing because once I have a purple grape thing up here so that he, this blown up frog can blow it up, I can't get up there to even stomp on this guy so he can blow his bubble. So with only access to one purple grape, this strategy is not going to work. It's impossible. I just realized that. So I'll move on. This whole thing I was doing in the cave to get these coins. Complete waste of my time. What did I actually need to do? I needed to connect two random pieces of information. Just take a piece of information in one part of my brain and connect it with a dendrite with a piece of information from another part of my brain. And puzzle would have been solved. What are these two pieces of information you may ask? Well regardless of whether you want to you're asking or not, I'm gonna tell you. One is I know how to solve this puzzle. The puzzle is I need to get up to where he's taking that frog, but I can't get the bird's attention. So what do I do? I stomp on the ground, then I get the bird to follow me over here, and then I get on that thing. Piece of information number two. I know I need to get this frog over here. Those are the two pieces of information that I needed to connect. The information logged in the part of my brain where it's like, I know how to solve this puzzle, and getting this frog over there. It took me forever. This is what I did for 50, this is what I did forever. I tried to see if I can carry the bird over there, but he kept grabbing me. Keep carrying it, he kept grabbing me. For some reason, in my idiocy, I couldn't connect the two pieces of information, which is, Halfway solve this puzzle, but instead of solving it completely, understanding, oh, now the frog's coming over here. Now I shall bring the bird. Now is the time to bring the bird. And he will see the frog, and everything will be wonderful. And that's how you solve this freaking puzzle. Get these frogs up here. Get some guys to fall down here. And here we go. Bird takes me away to the goddamn puzzle pieces. Wait, where am I going now? Oh. Awesome. That's an interesting place to take me. And here are the last puzzle pieces of this section. Oh. Oh. Got my setup. This took a while to get. I wish I showed the mistakes, because I wanna start I wanna start chain like kind of adding to this experience with games the aspect of failure. I wanna show how many times it takes me to get what I want. And so I think in order for me to do this, I need to set up how I express my gaming a little bit more by first explicitly stating what I want to do. And then when I don't do that, I show how I failed doing that. I think there's a lot of power and failure that, I'm tr that I want to explore. Especially since I discovered this game, Mario, um, Kaizo Mario. But now I'm good. So now I get blown up here. Oh, hold up! Oh shit, I need to get a... A little purple guy up here. We forgot about that. Oh, man! Okay, now I got my setup. just denied me! Whoa, that was horrible! 
That was a perfect setup too. Okay, second time. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Right above his goddamn head. Now what's up here? That's what I thought. That should be enough for this level. Yep, done. Let's move the fuck out! 